AIG is one of the largest insurance companies, if not the largest insurance company in the world with approximately 60,000 employees globally. We're probably the, one of the most broad insurance companies around. No, we don't sell car insurance. Uh, we only sell health insurance in Japan. But pretty much everything else we sell. We have eight enterprise data centers throughout the uh, globe, and we have uh, 211 other technology sites. Now that runs from Tokyo to Singapore to Kuala Lumpur to Dubai to UK to Fort Worth to Livingston to Woodland Hills, where we are a global company. Well, we're in our Fort Worth data center. Uh, it is a combination of uh, disaster recovery or DR and production data center. Close to 1,200 server racks full of servers in the facility. It's a, it's a two-in facility and uh, it's, it's quite robust. Our data center is comprised of just a short of 50,000 square feet and we've segregated that data center into two different types of equipment, high density and low density. Redundancy, everything is a minimum of two-in. We have a two-in utility feed. Um, our our switch generator switch gear is 2N. Our uh, generators are 2N plus 1. We have dual power coming into the building, so for two substations. We feed that into our switch gear, which then feeds into the PDUs. At the same time, utility and PDU power is on. Backing that up is our diesel generators. We have eight 2.5 megawatt diesel generators. We have 21 UPSs. So whatever we do, there's built-in redundancy. We have set up an IT arm that provides business or provides technology to uh, nine different business units. And we have, because we grew through acquisition uh, and some other reasons, we've got almost 3,000 applications. We have identified and ranked which ones are the most uh, mission critical. And we've come up with our 157 mission critical applications. So everything revolves around how do we keep those applications up, uh, how do we modernize the platform they may be on? How do we modernize the application? Because some of these apps are homegrown. Uh, so we're going through all of that right now, uh, trying to modernize, but also getting the business unit to buy in. Well, sensitivities in our industry and in the insurance industry are the same as uh, almost any financial services company. You know, privacy. You are messing with people's monies, the retirement, all this. So you have to safeguard their investments. You have to be there. You have to have the liquidity that when needed, you can do what you say you're gonna do. And AIG has been doing that for 95, over 95 years. How can uh, IDCA help us address some of the gaps and problems uh, that we have in our industry? It helps us um, tell our story better which helps everybody. And this gives everybody a roadmap and a platform to tell their story about what their data center does. And it's just not that place that nobody ever goes in and nobody can see and the windows are always, or there's no windows and it's always lights out. And a lot of people don't know, don't know they're there. So it helps us in that way. We will adopt the IDCA standards because they'll be the right thing to do. And AIG is about doing the right thing, uh, even when nobody's looking. We want to do the right thing for the right reasons. And this will give us, in the IT end of the AIG organization, ways of you know, showing that we, uh, that we have quantitative evidence that we are doing the right things. Besides somebody saying, Rick, how are your generators running? You know, how do you test them? We can say, you know, here's a score. We, we have independent study that show here's how our whole system works. 